Hello, this is Peter Newman. I'm a member on the ANSWER student community and I'm looking at a question on terrain and I'm going to uh, pull in a STL file that has this data and make some air above the surface and some earth below. Uh, the air is for CFD, I'm not sure what the surface below is for, but the first thing is to use the file options and set the CAD file into the correct units, which is in meters, because when we go to the assembly tab and import that STL file, we know that the data in the file is in meters and we don't uh, want it to come in at the wrong scale. So uh, we have uh, meters data coming into a meters file and we're going to uh, use the facets tab. H key is the home. Another useful key is the uh, S key to get back to select. Uh, you can see this S is the shortcut. Here is a facets body uh, surface. It's not a closed body. We can see from the icon. I'm just going to delete the component it was in uh, after I dragged and dropped. On the facets tab, the first thing to do with any fa facets is to check them. And we see that it's uh, multiple pieces and it's not closed and it's self-intersecting. So we're going to go and separate all the facets. So as I separate them, we can now look one at a time. The first one is the terrain with large facets. We want that. The second one is the sides. And the third one is the terrain, but uh, remeshed with a very uniform mesh. We're going to delete that. First, we're going to, uh, well, we did a check again because I left the tool on check. With the select key, it's much easier to pick something and hit delete. And the sides, delete. This is the one piece of uh, STL we want to keep. So now if we check the facets, uh, it's good. We can also use other tools like fix sharps if there's any uh, spikes in the data. But um, I don't see any here. And um, we need a block that is um, above and below this surface and we'll do that in the design tab and we will sketch on the XY plane nope sketch on the XY plane a rectangle and we can look straight down here and the rectangle wants to be inside the terrain data because we're going to use that to cut. Um, and you can cut this as fine as you want. Uh, just for the demo, I'm going to leave a, a margin that's easy to see. When I click on the pull tool, that rectangle is converted to a, a surface. Just turn off the facet data. And now with pull, I can pull that in d both directions. And now I have uh, earth and sky uh, above the I, got, I have a, enough geometry. Now if you want more geometry on one side, I can just select the top face and pull that up to have more, uh, more air than earth. Um, that's your preference and you can see there's a margin all the way around the block. So uh, we're going to find it's going to be very helpful to keep a copy of this solid. So I'm going to do copy and paste. So we've got two copies of that. And we may even want two copies of this. So we do Control C, Control V. And um, that's because we need earth and sky. If we only needed uh, air, we would uh, not need to do this because the very first operation is simple. Go to the Facets tab, use the um, Convert to pick this solid and convert it into an STL body. So now it is a watertight body. And uh, simply using the Subtract tool, I can subtract this body using this. And that will leave me a 
body of air with the terrain and its underside. So if all you needed was air, you would uh, not have done the copy paste. And the last thing to do on the select tab would have been to uh, right click and convert this to solid and use merge faces and you would have had the air over the terrain and you'll be done. You'd have a solid body that you could mesh the air. But uh, we're going to turn that off and do some work to get the earth below. And the earth below is uh, done a little bit differently because subtract always picks the top and we need the bottom. So um, we're going to use different operations. But the first operation, uh, and, and I'll just copy and paste that in case I need a, a spare copy. The first operation is again to convert that solid to a body. And um, we'll also uh, take this just because I'm not sure. Let's go. see, I've left this tool on convert, so it's complaining it's got no solids to convert. I forgot to go back to the select tab. Um, I'm not sure if I need a spare copy of that, but I'll copy paste uh, just in case I do need that. So now uh, I'm going to try to create some earth using these features. And um, so I can't use the, I can use the split tool. So I want to split um, this body using this tool. And let's see what we get. Ah, so it's trimmed away the outside. And so that's that surface. That's very good. We want to keep that. And we want to um, split, but in the other direction. We want to split. We want to split this body using this. And it's not. Um, it hasn't split it the way I needed it to. And the, unfortunately, oh, there's there it is. That's that's the one I need to use to split. So let's turn that on. And with the split tool, I want to split this body with this face. And that's why we needed that margin to be beyond the sides of the box. And now I have successfully split it. And I don't need this piece. So I can, oh, I've left the tool on. Go back to select. Always hit that S key after every operation. I don't need that. So I select it and hit delete. I don't need that anymore. I select that and delete. I turn the one that I do need on and use join. And so now I can join this with that. And I finally have my uh, earth body. And I have my sky, my air body, air and earth. So there are my two closed bodies. And if I do a check now on uh, this body, no problems. And if I now leaving the tool on, check this body, uh, no problems. So we are good now to do the final operation, which is to right click and convert to solid, picking merge faces. And yes, we really do want to do that. But uh, you can see there's some mm, jumping around to get the, um, the right features to use the facet tools to get to the point of uh, having two watertight bodies. And potentially, uh, we don't even need to do this last step of converting to solid if we use the fluent uh, watertight uh, workflow. It can potentially just import these two closed STL bodies and uh, create a mesh for the air and a mesh for the solid. So I will uh, hope Wish you the best of luck doing this. I'll attach this file, but I uh, understand you're on uh, release one, R1, and you won't be able to open this file, but others might, or maybe you'll upgrade. But uh, 
the video is your uh, workflow to try to reproduce this on your own. So good luck with that. Thanks for watching. Bye.